Hello and welcome to Town Reimagined, where today I am doing a pack a punch challenge. Yeah, it's right, I'm back. It feels like it's been actual months since I've done a pack a punch challenge because it has. It's been about seven months, I think, since I even attempted to do a pack a punch challenge. And I thought, you know what? Why don't we do it on a map that I love? Let's not do it on any ordinary version of the map. Why don't we do it on Town Reimagined? Now, there is one pretty big glaring issue with me doing this challenge on this map. Now, you see, for every version of this challenge that I've done in the past, I have had, like, a comprehensive full list of guns that I need to pack a punch, right? Every single time, that's how it's always been. I know exactly how many guns are on the map. I know how to get them. I know where they are. Like, I know everything about them. This map, I haven't got a goddamn clue. <laughs> like, straight up, I don't know what guns are on the map. I don't know how many guns are on the map. The only thing I know is there's a bunch of wall buys and there's the box. Now, I think... I think... <laughs> the map is basically just Black Ops 2 guns only. And I think out of all the Black Ops 2 guns, it's mostly all of the guns you would see on the original town. There may be a few other, like, secret surprises in there that I'm not really sure of. But I do have, like, a list of guns that I've written down next to me. Uh, there's 44, but that could change. There could be more, there could be less. I don't really know. <laughs> um, hopefully, I'm pretty spot on with it. Because, like, knowing my luck, there's going to be, like, 75 guns. And this is going to be one hell of a long day. And I'm going to hate myself in approximately 60 minutes. <laughs> but, like, you see, we've got, like, a ballista wall by here. That's not on the original. There's a PDW wall by inside of the bowling alley i think the mp5 is up there obviously got the m14 the 870 mcs is on the wall as well so like we do have like a good couple of guns on the wall that we can start off with and get this challenge rocking and rolling once i obviously get myself 5,000 points and first things first though i do probably need to get the pistol upgraded i don't know whether i want to keep a hold of the pistol after i've got it pack a punched because obviously Mustang and Sally. But I don't know if there's PhD available. And I do not want to blow myself up. Because, <laughs> like I thought I just did. Not going to lie. Also, another thing. Perks. There are a few custom perks on the map. I believe we've got Banana Colada. That's pretty cool. I've seen people on like on like the Reddit. And uh, yeah, I know. I, I went to Reddit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and like obviously in like the comments on the Steam Workshop. Saying that like you can get perk drops. And you can get like Magda's Moonshine and stuff like that. Now, I haven't played much of Town Reimagined. But I don't don't remember there being any um perk drops or anything like that so that's gonna have to be something for me to figure out also i've just run myself into a death trap it is not great i also don't really know where i want to go first okay we're gonna go in here uh, <laughs> i take that back i know exactly where i'm gonna go oh that opens that door Ugh, that's not great all right, we're going to quickly buy this. I don't want to pick up the M14. I might have to, though. I'm going to pick up the M14. Why not? It's like the safe bet, you know? <laughs> I might as well not risk it. I might as well just make sure I'm safe. Because the last thing I want to do is die. But I do actually think once I get the room opened up and I get jug bought, I am going to swap out the M14 immediately for the MP5. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a hold of the MP5. And I think I'm going to use that as my point gun. Like, no matter what. Because it's, you know, it's a war buy, SMG, plenty of bullets. Like, I just feel like it's a pretty good safe bet. I could also go with the PDW. Uh, you probably actually get more bullets with the PDW now that I think about it. Jesus Christ. Little bit close to dying. Oh my god, my accuracy still hasn't gotten any better. Also, can we stop with the almost killing me with the explosion fire stuff? Jesus Christ. Okay, we are actually going to make our way up here first. Right, we've got Jug there. Oh, we've got Tombstone on the map. Wait, is that Tombstone? Yeah, that is Tombstone. Ugh. The MP5 is on the map. They're 1,000 points. This is 2,500. Yeah, there is also a door here. Never, yeah, there is. It's down here. I was like, never mind. No, there's not. Brings me into here. And I believe up here. Yeah, here we go. Banana Colada. 3,000. 3,000 points. God damn. As I said as well, there is the bowling alley, which is here. And inside is Mule Kick, which I do want to be buying because Mule Kick's going to be pretty good for this. Mule Kick's always good for like a, <laughs> a pack of a challenge. It's the only time I will ever admit that perk has any relevance and could possibly even remotely be considered good the only time <gasps> door points i need that desperately i very much need that because i need all the points in the goddamn world i could buy double tap mm, probably not worth it. i actually always kind of think double tap is one of the worst perks you can pick up on a challenge like this because it just means you're killing zombies quicker which means you're getting less points like i kind of just feel like being weak is king in a challenge like this because you need so many points like five thousand points to pack a punch every single time and if there's 40 guns that's two 200,000 points, 
and it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> it's just so much stuff that you've got to keep, like, a track of and, like, just, you know, it's, just, it's a lot. All right, give me the MP5. 120 bullets in the reserve, 30 in the mag. It's not bringing me a lot of confidence when it comes to how much ammo this is going to have once it's packer plunged. Also, the fact as well that the guns on this map are, like, actually just perfect one-to-one -one replicas of the guns from Original Town. Like, everything about this MP5 is actually, like, perfectly spot on to what it's like in town. You know, like, actual town from Black Ops 2. It sounds great. It sounds actually perfect. It looks perfect. It feels great great as well, which is another thing, like, a lot of, like, custom maps and, like, custom mods for guns, like, the guns always just feel very, like, samey, you know, they don't have, like, a lot of recoil, like, they're just not very, uh, like, you know, they're just, they're just, they're just kind of meh, <laughs> but the guns on this map actually do feel like proper Black Ops 2 guns, which I love, but the things I would do for, like, a PhD on this map, specifically, like, <laughs> MWZ PhD, where I don't take fire damage, just goddamn, I feel like I'm about to, like, get windmilled to death by fire, I don't play this map much, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've played it much since it's came out. Like, I think there's only maybe, like, two or three videos on the channel, probably including this one, where this map actually features. But goddamn, this map is gorgeous. Like, I can't even put into words how good this map looks. Like, it's not gonna come across properly, because, like, YouTube compression and it sucks and whatever. But, like, goddamn, it just looks so good. I also have 5,000 points. I'm gonna hit the nuke. I can hit the gwitty. I'm sorry. I'm gonna throw that in there. That is gun number one done of potentially 44. Little Mustang and Sally. Okay, I can fire that kind of close. It doesn't hurt me. That does hurt me, so it's not actually that close. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe we're not getting ammo for the MP. Never mind, we are. <laughs> I always forget that it's in that little cubby, and it's just a death trap. It's like, it's just, it's just how you die. You come up here, you try and buy ammo, and a zombie's here. You're just, you're trapped. You're dead. And then you're crying. Let's just take all them out. I'm already back up to three and a half thousand points. Because the, the, the thing is, like, you want to be at least averaging two to three pack of punches around once you hit, like, round 12. You know, like, if you can guarantee yourself 10,000 points around, that is incredible. Because then you're not going to be going for, like, at least on a map like this where there's only 40 guns ish. That's what, 20 rounds? Could have this wrapped up by round 35. You know, that's what you want. <laughs> Whether that's what happens is a completely different uh, question and outcome. But round nine, back on number two, MP5, get it in there. How many bullets are you giving me, first and foremost? Is it got a suppressor on it? Oh, no, it doesn't. It looked like it did. Ugh, what? In the hell? Why have I got like a, a like a why have I got a rail on my gun for a like a red dot and no actual red dot? It also looked like I had a suppressor on it in the actual pack a punch, and there is no suppressor. I have been robbed. What is this? Why have I got some sort of like <laughs> why have I got a mount on my gun with no sight on it? I'd rather just have the irons. Okay, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Oh there! Oh my god! <sighs> Thank God that didn't kill me then, or I would have been. A little upset. <laughs> Not going to lie. Alright, get me into the bowling alley. There is a PDW in here, right? Yes, right there. Goodbye, pistol. Hello, PDW. Alright, 200 bullets in reserve. Not as many as I thought, but you do still get that 50 in the mag. You know, 250 overall. I mean, I get more bullets in a pack of punches MP5. So it's nothing, it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing too bad. I also don't know if there's a perk limit or not. I genuinely cannot remember. So I don't know if I want to just go and buy like stamina up. I don't know if I want to just go and buy speed. Or if I just want to go and buy, like, you know, double tab, mule kick, whatever else. Because I simply don't know <laughs> if I can get more perks or not than five. Four, sorry. The other issue as well with a challenge like this is I never know what, like, the best strat is to use. Because, like, I mean, I think I kind of do. Which is basically just, like, use an unpack a punch gun like I am. And just hoard as many points as possible every round. After, like, six or seven rounds, when you've accumulated, like, 30,000 points, just go and pack a punch, like, six guns or something. But I just kind of feel like it's a bit boring. And I just never really know what to do. I can probably get two more guns pack a punch at the end of this round. And I might do the M14. Actually, no, I think I'm going to do the Olympia. And the ballista. Just get them out of the way. 13,000? Yeah. I think we're doing it. All right. Ballista is the first one up. And let's get the MP5 gun for the M14. Get that in there. That's one gun for the round. And then pack one number two is going to be the ballista. That puts to four total. Does not sound that impressive considering it... <sighs> I double pack a punch the M14. God damn it. All right, doesn't matter. I need to buy ammo for the PDW. <laughs> 
Whoops, did not mean to do that. How did I manage to do that? I wasn't even like paying attention. I mean, that's exactly why I did that. I wasn't paying attention at all. And I get a max ammo right after buying, oh, goddamn bullets for my gun. God, it's a waste of 600 points. God, I hate what this challenge does to me. I'm no longer just like the, the fuck it we ball kind of like player when it comes to this. I actually have to like micromanage everything and I hate it. I hate what it does to me. That should be enough of that. Well, I, mean, I probably will keep hold of the amnesia for a little bit, just for points and whatever. But I think I am going to swap out the ballista, like, immediately. Ooh, you actually got a scope for this as well. Ooh, ooh that sounds beefy. God damn. The red dot's also really nice as well. Maybe not. My accuracy still sucks, though. Jesus Christ. I actually remember, probably about a year ago, I did, what was it? I did a, um, like, a round 50 challenge with the uh, the M14 on this map without quick revive because I specifically hated opening this door. So I didn't bother going into the bar <laughs> to get quick revive. And I think I ended up getting to, like, round 43 or something. So I'm starting to think maybe I should have just done that same strat again. But of course... I had so much room there on the right side, but like there's a zombie stood there and he blocks me from all this because I get stuck on a goddamn t chair. You didn't see anything. All right, we are just going to ignore <laughs> that that down ever happened. And I'm going to speed my way through those same four guns again and get ourselves all caught up. So it's like nothing ever happened. All right, and just like that, <laughs> we are all finally caught up. MP5, Ballista, M14, and the 1911 all pack a punch, bringing us back to a total of four. But at least this time, I am a couple of rounds lower than what I was on the last run. I've also died another time in between you last saw me, because I definitely didn't die on round four on that second attempt. Definitely not. <laughs> um, I've also discovered that the box... I'm fairly certain is a guaranteed spawn up in that room. So I'm not going to lie. I was very tempted to not open this and just do a quick revivalist run. I uh, don't think that's the case. I think the box, no matter what, spawns up in that room, um, which is a bit unfortunate <laughs> because that means I have to open the door because I have to get to the box so I can get guns. Like there, there's no other way around it. I just I have to. All right. I'm sitting on 8000 points. I am going to go into here. Just like so. And I'm going to buy Mule Kick. I know. But I have to. And then I'm going to buy the PDW. So I'm quite literally all caught up. And I'm going to go camp. Yeah, that's that's the gameplay for this run. <laughs> We're just going to be sitting here for as long as I possibly can. Doing a little bit of sniping on the roof. He didn't die when I shot him in the head. That's great. Well, I shot him in the body. But come on, it's a sniper. You expect him to die there. I swear to God, if I die again now, I'm going to be pissed because I don't have quick revive. I didn't get a chance to buy it. This could be the worst and shortest. Oh my God, pack up a challenge you ever see from someone. If I die, I'm going to die again. I'm literally, I'm going to die again. It's, yep, get, nope, I'm not dead. Somehow not dead. How? What? The second I start talking, this goddamn run just goes to shit every single time. It's kind of starting to be a bit of a worrying. The PDW, I've also learned, not that good. Very weak. Might just be because I've not got double tap, but it kind of sucks. I'm also never touching the blister again because that thing is a death trap. Jesus Christ. All right, we got through that round. I'm actually going to swap out the ballista right now, in fact, for the other worst gun on the map, the Olympia. It's not the 870, like I said it was previously. It is the Olympia. And I'm also going to finally buy Crook Revive, round 13. Get it bought. Get a bit of safety going, you know what I'm saying? I'm also not going to spin the box like I was previously planning. I would also very much like a max ammo sometime soon because I don't want to be spending four and a half thousand points on bullets for my MP5, which is why I'm not going to. I'm going to go, oh my God, there's seriously zombies there map gets a little bit more chaotic than I was anticipating. It's been a minute since I've played, all right? All right, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to buy double tap. I'm going to pretty god nothing's in here. It's going to kill me. I'm going to buy ammo. I'm going to switch over to the PDW, wherever it is in my inventory. I've got to do that now because I've got mule kick, which sucks. Like, I could train in here. I know I could. But every single time I've tried to do that, I die. Like, I'm just not good at training in this area. I understand that, so I don't do it. <laughs> you know, it's as simple as that. I'm also fairly certain the PDW is the last wall buy on the map. So I am going to swap out the mp5 and rpk is an incredible first gun to get out of the box didn't even know that was on the map i gotta add that to the list but that is also the olympia pack a punch oh my god the olympia's got some power to it okay maybe now we have a bit of weaponry rpk is huge olympia is actually not bad 
Reload speed's a bit nefarious, not gonna lie. It's not great. My accuracy is also a bit crap. <laughs> um, I should probably get speed cola. Will I? Eventually. Maybe, actually. I don't know. I might not be able to. I've already got four perks. I have no idea if there's a perk limit. I haven't actually got a chance to buy five perks or not yet. So we're in for a, a first. We're in for a treat this run, maybe. Perhaps. I'm okay. Just switch over to the... RPK is where I wanted to switch into. Oh, yeah, the RPK is good. Oh, the RPK is incredible. Okay, the RPK is now my my point gun. It's my it's my it's my bullet king. It's my pride and joy. This thing's insane. Jesus Christ. I haven't even had a chance to tick off the Olympia yet and write down the, the RPK. I gotta add that to the list. All right, PDW, get a pack of punched. At the end of the round, I, that is probably the last zombie of the round. There we go. PDW and Olympia added. That's six guns pack a punched. Easy. Peasy. I do actually now think, though, that I've got an LMG <laughs> in the RPK. I probably do very much need to get in there and get myself a little bit of speed. But ooh, there is actually a wall by there, I think. Is that a wall by? I don't know. I can't tell. Ooh, I've got an idea. And the idea is to basically buy speed cola and then just farm as many points as I possibly can. All right. So there's no wall by in here like I thought there was. Is this open? I don't know if this opens on this map. It does open. Anything in here? PhD. Get it bought. And I can buy... There's no perk limit. Perfect. We got PhD. Does that mean no more fire damage? Don't know. <laughs> Honestly, not a clue. Probably means fire damage, so I'm not going to test that. Back down to 5,000 points. I have speed cola. I have PhD. I have double tap. I have, I have actually all the perks I could want. Now I just need to get through the rounds. I have six guns pack a punch, I think. Many more to go. <laughs> I think I also saw the Peacekeeper in the box when I span it earlier and got the RPK. So that's another gun I'm going to have to add to the list. I'm, I'm starting to wonder then, I wonder if all the guns on this map are just all the guns in Black Ops 2. Or at least all of like the, you know, the readily available guns in Black Ops 2. Like I don't think the PSR is on this map. I don't think like, what is it? Like the AK-47? I don't think that's on the map. I don't think the Uzi's on the map. I don't think like, I don't think any of the guns you use for like three seconds in the campaign are available. <laughs> but there might be some other juicers in there. All right, so RPK, I'm going to swap out the Hades. I don't know like what is what anymore, to be honest. Oh, the Scorpion's in there. The Thumper's in there. That's two guns I've got to add. Right, so we've got a KSG, and I'm sorry, but I think it's time we swap out the PDW for... Nope. <laughs> I'm already getting duplicates. Great. My right, PDW is running pretty dry in terms of the old ammunition. Let's so get that opened. I would like to swap this out for the M8A1. That's actually perfect. There's two more guns I can add to the list. We can get them pack punch at the end of the round. Get them added. I know I said as well the RPK was going to be my point gun. And I haven't used it once since getting it. <laughs> I'm kind of saving it for a special occasion. A special occasion is when I almost die. <laughs> like, that's such a high fire rate. Like, god damn, it's spitting out four bullets in like 0.2 seconds. I can't tell if I'm taking fire damage there or not. I don't think I am. I actually don't think I am taking fire damage with PhD. I think you're just getting the effect that you are. But I don't think I'm actually taking any damage. But there's two more guns added to the list. KSG and the M8. Oh my god, don't use the KSG. Do not use the KSG. This red dot sucks, by the way. Oh my god, it's insta-kill. I actually don't think I want to be taking insta-kills anymore. I just think it's a waste of points. Now that I'm at a point where I can actually get 10,000 points around, like I basically just did, I don't think taking an insta-kill is worth it anymore. It might be worth it in like 10 or 15 rounds when I'm struggling. But for right now, nah. The KSG, the Mist Maker, not gonna lie, don't love it. I don't love it. It's it's a slug round. Gotta be accurate with it. I think I'm I think this is gonna be more of a spray and pray kind of day. Like it's gonna kill things pretty goddamn effectively. But like I think I'd rather hip fire a shotgun camping here. And as you can see, hip firing it, I'm gonna be missing shots. Don't want that. Just, I don't it's just it's a death trap. Also, I completely forgot to mention it because of all the chaos and commotion that this has already caused me. I'm 20 already? Oh my god. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the second Platinum video is done. The day you're seeing this, the day before, um, <laughs> I completed it, right? It's all done. The recording is done. I just need to edit it. It's on a, like, I've, I posted, like, a teaser of it on Twitter, like, a week ago. People that follow me over there, you know what the next game is. But, like, it's, it's definitely a game that I think a lot of people are gonna uh, like. It's, it's definitely very familiar if you've been around on the channel for a while. So that kind of gives it a, that's a kind of a big giveaway as to what the game is, or at least what franchise the game is a part of. And I'm very much looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun edit. It was definitely a lot more stressful going through like a full, like 50 plus achievement uh, game rather than like a 20 like a trophy game like Wreckfest was. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. It's all done, ready to go. Probably take me like a week to edit it. 
I'll probably, which I'll probably start at the weekend when I get a bit of time. I know I said inst insta kills are kind of stinky, but I am actually going to take that because his RPK is a bit weaker than what it was when I last used it. Yeah, hopefully within the next like week or so, that video will be up 10 days maximum, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun edit for me, I think. I'm definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be a bit different from the Refest one, um, which I'm looking forward to. <laughs> There's a lot more rage in the uh, in this next platinum which should be pretty funny i definitely kind of lost my mind at a few points so yeah i'm looking forward to it man like i like oh the barret i don't know why i'm ooing at this the barret sucks and it actually sucks oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> as i was saying uh the platinums have been like such like a a nice breath of fresh air when it comes to just like recording gaming content like it's so nice to do them like even though like yeah right i've only done two so far one of them is like on a game that is very similar to what <laughs> you know i make content on anyway like you know call of duty like it is a call of duty game let's see which one it is uh <laughs> gotta keep some things a surprise well like it's just nice it's just nice doing things differently gets the creative brain juices flowing and i'm looking forward to it man i'm starting to realize camping up here might not be a viable solution long term these zombies are getting a little aggressive i don't like the fact that they're still on fire for the most part as well when they get up here. Oh, the scorpion. All right, scorpion and the barret get packer punched. This could actually be a really good couple of guns. I need to keep a hold. Okay, I'm only going to get one done because I ended the round. I need to start keeping a hold of the zombie at the end of the round as well, is what I'm starting to realize. So I can get a, through a couple of guns. You just don't have enough time between rounds to go and packer punch anymore. The scorpion fires so goddamn fast as well. Oh my god. It's actually really powerful though as well, which is good, but it does not have a lot of bullets. And it fires so incredible incredibly fast oh i didn't keep a zombie oh okay it doesn't matter all right get the barret pack a punched you can worry about other things later i've already lost count as to how many that's pack a punched i think it's eight i don't think it's eight i think it's more i think it's ten i don't i don't know i've lost count <laughs> the fight is only around 23 as well i feel like i'm around 50 mainly because you know i'm standing still and i never do this like i don't really know like the strat for standing still on a map i like moving around i like training <laughs> you know i like being on the move what are you giving me I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's the hammer as well. Oh my God, I'm not going to get it. I might just be able to get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, yes, we got it, the hammer. Huge. Let's get the hammer pack punched. I am potentially about a quarter of the way through. Oh my God, the ammo. Oh, that's so many bullets. A stupid, stucky red dot as well. Why can't I just be like a normal red dot like this thing has? This is not a great location for a box. Oh, the M27, the middest of mid. <laughs> Don't mind it, to be fair. The M27 pack a punch. That's another gun added to the list. I'm probably going to do a couple this round just because I've got the time and I've got the points. Oh, the Scar H. Oh, the Scar H could be a banger to keep a hold of, though. I don't know, man. It's a good gun. Could be a good gun for a couple of rounds. It's a powerful one, and it's got a lot of bullets. The S12? <laughs> I think you just heard actual disgust from me as well. <gasps> the war machine. This actually might not be awful because I have PhD. Just saying. Crowd control could be kind of nuts. Probably going to be a couple of rounds, though, until the next ra like round of pack -a punches So I suppose I'll see you then. An RPK. Oh, my God. What is it with the duplicates? I swear to God. The box is more likely to give you guns. I can't believe that zombie chased me down the stairs like that. I swear to God, the box is more likely to give you guns you've already got. Oh, the bear. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to have to pack a punch the RPK and the 5.7 quickly. And I'm going to have to pack a punch the RPK. All right, I need to. I need the bullets. So we're going to get it done. I'm going to pretty good I don't die. And then we're going to run back to our little hidey hole. I have no idea how close we are to the end of the round either. You might be the last one. I think you actually are. And right, what are we getting? The scorpion again? Like I said... Like, you're just more likely to get guns you've already got out of the box. I swear to God. All right, MTAR, that's a new one. Like it. Ultra, gonna get rid of it. Something new, hopefully. Oh, the Executioner? Perfect. All right, two more guns to add to the list. Oh my God, I'm gonna go down. Sprint, please. All right, this zombie needs to fuck off. Jesus Christ. All right, that got a little scary. <laughs> but that is two more guns added to the list. The executioner and the MTAR. It is also nice as well, the fact that the Executioner is still a one-shot. I'm liking it. Not liking the fact you only get five rounds of magazine, though. I guess it is what it is. Yep, definitely not liking the five rounds of magazine thing. Are you kidding me? The goddamn explosion, even though I can't see it, still hurts me. And I think that's also guaranteed that a PhD does not work. This is way harder than it should be. Well, this might be game over. I guess now, though... Yeah, so the... Hammer was my PhD. Oh, it was my not my PhD gun, my meal kit gun. Oh, Rick did. Yeah, that's the end. I don't get why this is so difficult on this map. <laughs> 
Like, it's so difficult. All right, I think I'm gonna give it one more attempt. Attempt four, which is basically attempt three because attempt two didn't really count, <laughs> is hopefully gonna be the one. It's always so jarring. And like going from like around like 28, close to 30, and like just having pure chaos in zombies, like immediately restarting and going back to like round one and it just being like the most boring, slow grind back to where like you can actually just have a bit of fun. <laughs> That's the one part about zombies I don't like. I mean, it's I kind of like it a lot more these days because, you know, Rampage Inducer exists. And if it doesn't come back for Gulf War, I might throw a fit. Um, <laughs> but like I said, you know, it's not as big a deal in like Cold War because you can just get straight back into it immediately. But like these games, man, God, I hate it. It sucks. It's just so slow and there. <laughs> My ADHD brain just needs it like snappy, you know? Need it now. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. I've actually just kind of thought, do I go for Galvanuckles? Yeah, Galvanuckles actually could be a huge bonus, like for me. If I get them, and I just go for melee kills for 15, 16 rounds, however long it is they last. That could actually be a pretty smart play. I'm what, 4,000 points? I'll have close to 5,000 by the end of this round, maybe? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I don't hate it. I can get easily 10 rounds worth of... Is it, is it round 15, 16, or is it round 13? I don't remember. Because I, I just don't use them. I just don't ever use the Galva Knuckles like I don't use the Bowie Knife, <laughs> you know? So now I'm kind of like, when do they actually stop being like one-hit kills? When do they stop being effective? Because it's 6,000 points. Like, that's a lot. I can get a Pack-a-Punch for that. I can Pack-a-Punch the pistol and have change. And that's a commitment. It could be a waste rather than a gain. Fuck it, we ball. I'm going for it. <laughs> we take risks in this house. We don't live by the normal rules. And just like that, I can also keep a hold of the pistol at fast melee speed. And they blow up. Okay. That was the other reason why I wanted them, because I didn't think they would blow up and kill me. Because I'm fairly certain that's how it works in original Black Ops 2. <laughs> Fun. Love that. <laughs> it's great. <sighs> okay, maybe that wasn't such a big pick up <laughs> like i thought it was like there is actually a sweet spot where you can melee the zombies and the effect won't hurt you but like it's so difficult to get it every single time that like, you've got to have like the perfect distance and i just can't seem to nail it you know like i get it sometimes but most of the time i don't all right first pack punch is in pistol is done all right but there's 5,000 points though so mp5 gets pack a punched at the start of this video i said there was maybe 44 guns on the map i think just like kind of like guessing after seeing the weapons i've seen in the box and adding the few that i know are around i think there might be 50 49 i think at minimum because i believe the revolver from buried is on the map and also the peacekeeper and obviously also the guns that we had as well that we you know, got that I went on the list originally, you know, the RPK, the Scorpion, uh, the Thumper, whatever else. Like, I think it brings the total to 50. I'm not gonna lie, if I can hit, like, 25 guns, I think I'd be happy, because I just don't see myself getting all 50 guns. All right, but speaking of guns, I'm gonna get the Olympia done, because why not? All right, that is three. Like, you see, like, there, I'm getting it now, like, where you've got that distance between you and the zombie. Or it might just be because they're no longer on fire. I don't know. You can kind of see what I mean about there being a, like a certain distance where that doesn't happen once you melee the zombie. But getting it on like a consistent level is a pain in the ass. Max ammo is kind of nice though. Actually, I will grab the nuke now. That means I can buy the M14. I can pack a punch it and that's back up to four guns. The fact as well that I've not bought any perks other than Jug. The Galvanicles really did take out so many extra points. Like 6,000. I could have had... The ballista and well maybe though because like point i don't know probably i probably could have actually got both the ballista and the pdw pack punch this round if i didn't get the galva knuckles like that extra six thousand points i reckon i could have i reckon i could have got them just saying don't actually think the galva knuckles were a good investment i ain't afraid to admit it all right but that is the ballista gun number five for this run it's mainly just a fire like if the zombies didn't hit you as much when you melee them I think I'd be more inclined to say that the Galvanokos were a good investment. But because I'm so terrified of dying because of that, I just don't think they are. They are pretty great because they do farm points for you pretty goddamn easily. If you throw in a couple of shots as well, get some more. Oh my god, I missed. Get some more points. And I guess you kind of are farming. But with that, it means we can get the PDW. I mean, six guns are done. All, right, all the war guns are done. Starting guns done. I can now focus on the box. All right, it's round 14. We're now down to a two hit. Yeah, I don't think the Galvanokos were worth it at all. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I could have bought perks. I could have got an extra pack of punch. Now round 14. I've only got one perk. Two perks. Probably actually get that bought. <laughs> Damn, the Galvanokos are really a round 14 two hit. I thought I had at least until round 16. Like, I know two rounds might not seem like much, but that's like 80 plus zombies. 
in those two rounds. So many extra points. Hmm. Anyway, box. <laughs> First gun is something good, hopefully. The Uzi. Ooh, actually a newbie for the, this video. I actually kind of like that. Don't mind it at all. Not gonna lie. Not loving the whole 25 bullets a magazine thing, even though it's a pack a punch gun. <laughs> Really not a fan of that. How are you only having a 25 round mag when you're SMG and you're packer punched? That is not good. Like, look at it, it stinks. Oh God, oh God, I'm gonna die. Yep, Fuck. the Uzi sucks, the Uzi sucks. The Uzi sucks, it sucks. It is awful, it's pathetic. 25 rounds a magazine when packer punched, what the hell is that? Why? What is the point? What is the point? Get it in the bin where it belongs. Like, it's annoying because it's powerful as well, that's the thing. But it's not as good as the uh, Scorpion. Like, Scorpion's already got more bullets and it's already just as strong. Alright, there, I said it. Uzi sucks. This is not a gun as well as I was hoping it would. And I remember why I stopped doing these, because it's just frustrating as hell. Relying on the box to not shaft you. The fact that you have to go to, like, a pretty high-ish round. Having to, like, min-max your points, which is just hell for me. Zombies that just refuse to die for some reason and get you killed again. That's great. Explosions that hurt you. I just, ah, uh, this has gone wonderfully, wonderfully. Uh, I hate it. I hate it so much. That's gun number seven, I think. Gun number eight. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's times like these. How are you hitting me from that far? And also them procking your goddamn stupid explosion effect on me. Like, it just makes no sense. And I fell. Oh, my God. How am I doing so much worse off than what I was on that one run? Like, you'd think, you know, you've, you've done this once. You'd, you'd have it down. You'd know what you're doing. You'd be good at this. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not the case. Not true. That's a lie. Fucking losing my mind. Times like these where I do kind of just wish I didn't make content on zombies. Straight up. <laughs> Game is so unfair at times. What is that? Olympia? Like I said, game is a bully. Doesn't like you. At all. Give me the RPD. Or something. The LSAT. The Type 25. What the? What? Why? You know I hate this thing. And you give it this? Oh, I just... Well, to be fair, at least this version of the gun doesn't have a ludicrous amount of recoil. But it's a new gun, so I'm not actually that mad. All right, get it on there. Get it packer punched. All right, what are you giving me? Something good. Hammer. LSAT. Something good. RPK. It's, it's good enough. We'll take it. What else? AN94. Ooh, or the KVK99M. What? <laughs> That's gotta be like the file name, right, for the gun. I better also be able to get that RPK back or I'm gonna be pissed. Thank god. Haven't even got like perks properly yet. You know, I've got three perks and it's around 20. <laughs> I can't use the, the LMG because the reload speed's too long. That's great. Oh my god, even the reload speed in this thing takes forever. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. This fucking fire effect, man, I keep telling you, it's the worst thing. Because it affects you from so far away and it hurts. It's like, it's like, it's the, I think, I'm fairly certain the fire effect, like that explosion, has the same, like, level of damage as getting hit by a zombie. It's ridiculous. Right, let's get this bought, and then let's get this spawn, and get some stinkers pack-a-punched. PDW, great. <laughs> like I said, that duplication, whatever, is just so great. Ray gun, actually huge. I can get the first one done. And yeah, I'm also going to swap out the RPK because I don't actually like it that much. Dualies as well. Great. All right, we're actually getting some new guns. It might actually also be worth picking up PhD now. So I don't blow myself up with this. Why am I... Why can I not move? Like, hello? I can't sprint. What the... F oh my god, this game, man. This map is driving me goddamn insane. All right, I can't blow that up with a ray gun. It has to be with PhD... With grenade. Give me this. I'll blow myself up with the ray gun because it still sucks after all these years. Ha ha ha. I'm up to 13 as well for this run. Weapons. pack a punch, and all that. I think I got to, what, 20 on the last one? So we're, we're getting we're, we're kind of... What the... Hello? I can't I can't move. Like, what the fuck is this game? Like, why are things just breaking? Great. I love it. Such a huge fan. If I had to write a negative Yelp review, I swear to God. No, I did not enjoy my time at town in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Oh God, that's not what I wanted. Give me this back, thank you. I have a headache. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this has done. My brain hurts. I want a cigarette. I don't even smoke. That's what zombies does to you. Drives you to a life of addiction. Don't play it, avoid it. <laughs> this is an ad for safety, I don't know. Jesus Christ. I'm losing it. I think that's the last zombie. It is. All right, we're going to pack much the RPG. That's gun. No, it's not the last zombie. Not the last zombie. Give, 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 give. Huge. 
Oh, the RPG is not effective. Kind of sucks. It really sucks. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, uh -huh. love that. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> All right, RPG is done. That's 14 guns pack-a-punched. I'm about to swap out both the RPG and the ray gun right now for the Cap 40 and the Colt. Sick. Nope, we're getting the MTAR. All right, I actually don't mind that. 10,000 points. Get this pack a punched. That means we're at 16 guns. I have actually already forgotten how many guns we got to on the last attempt. I think it was probably about 20 plus. In and around 20, I think. It's kind of impressive that I've almost caught up considering how chaotic this run has been and just how not good of a run it's been in general, <laughs> you know? In need of a maximum ammunition, not gonna lie. Thank you. <laughs> Just ask and you shall receive. All right, I think that's the last zombie. I'm going to get one more pack of punch in. And we're going to get rid of the cap because it is absolutely awful. And it's going to give me the Barrett. All right, perfect. Okay, I finally learned how to count. <laughs> and the Barrett is, in fact, gun number 16 for this run. All right, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Wait, is there one more zombie left that I just didn't know about? There was. There's actually a few of you. Where the hell are you all hiding? The most frustrating thing, though, about using the snipers is being stuck to having the scope. Like, if this had a red dot or, like, an ACOG, it'd probably be pretty usable, but it doesn't. So, like, it's... You, like, there's no point. You can't touch that thing. <laughs> it's just death. But I do have 60 seconds of fire sale, so I think I'm actually going to grab this nuke. And we're just going to see what we can get. M16, actually not a bad pickup. And... Probably going to get rid of the am 2 r 4 the Scar H. Perfect. Actually, that's great. That, that's 18 guns at the end of this round. Both guns as well, possibly going to be very good. I think that's the last zombie, so I'm not going to kill him. All right, pack punch the scar, and then we pack punch the M16. Perfect. Like, I just need to average two guns around the next 15 rounds, <laughs> and I'll, I'll get pretty close to being done. I also still think that I very much want to get my hands on the the, the, the Regal Mark II because it's just such a good gun. And to have it just to protect me would be great. Okay, M16 is actually very powerful. But 30 bullets a magazine is not good. Like that last down I took, <laughs> I was genuinely considering just quitting then and there on the spot. But I decided, you know what? We're going to continue because why not? Somehow I have made it to the equal highest round and I'm kind of glad I didn't, uh, I didn't quit. I'm not going to lie. I would really like it if there was a dead shot on this map. Just to improve my hip fire a little bit. It'd be great. I'd love it so much. But we've got to be close to the last one though. And I've got 36,000 points. So I might as well start getting a few extra guns back a punch. If I've got some luck, I can probably get to like 23 guns this round. AK-74U, perfect. And I am also going to say goodbye to the Scar H for the DSR. Incredible. Two more guns added to the list. Oh, I almost shot that guy then. Kind of glad I didn't because I would have ended the round. I mean, I don't know if it would have, but I have a feeling the uh, the DSR is going to be able to clap two zombies like that. Right, two more new guns, please. I'm begging you. Chicom, huge. And what? I don't even know. M27 would be nice. Python, perfect. All right, that's even better. <laughs> Four guns this round, taking us to 22, is actually a huge, huge step up. The Cobra is probably also going to be pretty damn good as well. All right, the Python is not, in fact, a one-shot, so I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to lie. I'm now realizing I really don't have a great arsenal of weapons on me right now. Like, I've gone from M16, Scar H, and AN94 to Python, Chicom, AN94. Say what you want, like those guns as much as you want, but that is a massive downgrade in my actual weaponry. Like, sure, the Python's a two-shot uh, kill, just like the AN is, but the AN94 has 50 bullets a magazine. The Cobra has 12. <laughs> Come on, I can get one. Regal Mark II me. Hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Good pickup. Great pickup, even. Like, the hammer's probably, you know, not going to be that strong. I say not going to be that strong. You know, same level as, like, the A94, you know, two-shot headshot. Same old business, you know? But it's the bullets. The fact that I have 600-plus rounds of ammunition is incredible. Double points there as well. Desperately need that. And there was a nuke, which I didn't even see. <laughs> Great. Well, I suppose, like, the Python is actually pretty good because it's got a very fast reload. And, like, you can just tear your way through zombies like this with it. I actually kind of take it back. Maybe the Python is the best gun I've got right now. Like, it's very easy to hit headshots with. Yeah, maybe. It's just a shame it's not got a lot of bullets. 
That max ammo will do very nice. Alright, round 31. Alright, I think round end of this round, keep a zombie, and we go get some more guns. And I'm not gonna oh, I don't know. What do I get rid oh. of? There's now the other dilemma I have. It's like I've now got really good guns in my inventory. <laughs> I've got a hammer, I've got AN and a Python. All still very capable of killing zombies. Which ones do I get rid of? Or, my other option is do I not get rid of any guns? I try and say go like another 10 rounds. Get like 100,000 points. And then just spend 15 minutes spinning the box and pack a punching. No, if I, if I want to go for a high round, I've got to get myself the Mark II ray gun. I'm just, I'm sorry, I have to. Like, I'm sure the hammer and the AN will still be killing zombies pretty easily at that round. But will I be able to keep the ammo up? Probably not. Like, that's the, the honest answer. But that is a max ammo right there, and I'm going to take that nuke. I get all my guns reloaded, which they are. Perfect. It's in 45,000 points. How am I on fire? What the hell? Like, the idea of going to a slightly higher round and then just ripping the box as many times as possible seems like a really good idea to me. But I just, I'm, I'm worried I'm going to die before then. <laughs> and that would just be, like, so much worse. It looks so, it's so cursed. Not seeing, like, green around it, man. It's so cursed. So where the hell did all these zombies come from right at the beginning of the round? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I literally say about dying. Well, this is the run over. I'm stuck in the corner as well. I can't move. Great. Like, oh, why did you have to jump through the window right there? Well, this is the end. Yep. Why was there just 900 zombies at that window? Like, two milliseconds after the round started. I don't get it, man. This game is so unfair. <laughs> that went from being the worst run of the day, <laughs> somehow into the best run, and then I just die out of nothing. And that zombie's for you, man. <laughs> I hate this game so much. I'm not restarting. I can't. I can't go through that again. I can't. Like, I, I think in total I got like 30 unique guns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I got 30 unique guns. Pack a punched out of 50 across all the runs. So like, <sighs> I'm not doing that again. I'm sorry. I'm not. Not today, at least anyway. <laughs> and on that disappointing end, I can't believe I died. Like, why did just 10 zombies have to spawn at that window? For no reason. <sighs> Fuck this game. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for watching. My name's been Satch. Uh, I'm gonna go have a lie down. <laughs>